so now let us try to understand how interrupts work in a embedded program and then we will get into the actual programming part of our microcontroller so as the name says here interrupt is nothing but some sort of disturbance or interruption that has caused in between any task that is being performed in a microcontroller so let us try to understand it in detail so in any embedded program or in any c program this is the common format for a function call so you can see here we are having the main function and inside the main function we are calling the function one and this particular loop is the super loop or the infinite loop of the program which we will be often using it in a embedded program so this is where we will be writing down the logic of the program which will be executed continuously until the microcontroller is stopped so this is the while of one that is the infinite loop of the program which will be consisting the logical part of the embedded program so inside this while of one we are just calling the function 2 function called function 2 so before entering inside this while of one this function 1 is called so whatever the programming lines available right over here in this function 1 will be executed well before entering inside the while of 1 and once the program execution hit inside this while of 1 this function 2 right over here will be continuously executed again and again until the microcontroller is stopped because it has been called inside the while of 1 right over here which is the infinite loop so the only programming statement available inside the while of 1 is this function 2 function call so the programming lines available inside this function 2 will be continuously executed again and again until the microcontroller is stopped so this is the basic way in which a function call executes in a embedded program or in any c program but let's take the interrupt part now so before entering into the explanation of actual working part of interrupt we just want to enable the particular interrupt whether it may be an external interrupt or it may be any kind of peripheral interrupts like ADC interrupt, UART interrupt, SP interrupt, I2C interrupt, etc. You just want to enable that particular interrupt which you want to run in your program. So here before entering the logical part of the program, we will be often enabling the interrupt in the program. And once after enabling the interrupt in the program, let's take the interrupt to be external interrupt which will be triggered via GPIO pin of the microcontroller. Once the interrupt is enabled, we will be writing down a function called interrupt subroutine function or interrupt service routine function that is ISR function required for that interrupt. So let's take the example that we are enabling the EXTI interrupt. EXTI interrupt that is the external interrupt which will be triggered via digital GPIO pin of the microcontroller. So this is the corresponding interrupt subroutine function for the EXTI interrupt in this particular microcontroller. So as soon as the program execution starts from this main function the interrupt will be enabled and the control enters inside this while of one because we have written nothing inside this um, installation segment except the enabling of interrupt after enabling the external interrupt it will be entering inside this while of one which is the super loop or infinite loop of the program which will be holding the logical segment but here you can see we are we have nothing i have just left the while of one to be blank right over here so nothing will happen the program will keep on stuck inside this while of one because it contains nothing so whenever this external interrupt is triggered this interrupt subroutine function or interrupt service routine function that is available for external interrupt will be called once so this is the logic so whenever 
this external interrupt so remember that the kind of interrupt decides the way of triggering the interrupt in this case i have assumed that external interrupt is configured so that whenever i provide a low signal or high signal as per the configuration in the corresponding exti gpio pin that will trigger the interrupt but in case of uart interrupt let's for an example let's take it for an example it will be triggered whenever a data is received in a uart peripheral or data is completely sent from a uart peripheral so the way of triggering an interrupt is dependent on the interrupt that you are configuring so in this case we are just assuming that we are just enabling uh, exti interrupt that is the external interrupt so whenever i provide a certain signal in the digital gpa open that is corresponding to this exti pin that particular exti interrupt will be triggered so what happens here is the program execution available right over here inside the while of one which has been stuck inside the while of one will be passing whatever it is doing right over here inside this while of one and it will be moving to this interrupt subroutine function corresponding or which is representing the exti and it will execute the programming lines available inside this function that is the interrupt subroutine function once after completing the execution of all the programming lines available inside this interrupt subroutine function or interrupt service routine function it will be returning back to the same while of one from which the program execution left and it will be resuming back from the same instruction which it has passed before moving to the interrupt subroutine function and it will continue the process that it has left right over here in the while of one so this is the normal flow of interrupt function call whenever an interrupt is triggered the program execution pauses whatever it was doing inside the main function or inside the while of one and it will move to the interrupt subroutine or interrupt service routine function and it will execute all the lines that is available inside the interrupt subroutine function and after completing the execution of all the lines that is available inside the interrupt subroutine function it will come back to the main function from where it has left before the interrupt subroutine function call and it will resume back from the line which it left before so this is the normal functionality of interrupt function call whatever may be the interrupt whether it is an external interrupt uart interrupt adc interrupt spi interrupt i2c interrupt the functionality is same only the way of triggering the interrupt varies in this case this exti is triggered via gpo open by providing a particular signal as configured in the triggering of interrupt but in case of you are enabling an adc interrupt whenever a analog to digital conversion happens or whenever it is complete it will trigger an adc interrupt so the kind of triggering an interrupt varies but uh, the functionality is same it will call the interrupt subroutine function and it will come back to the main function and it will resume back this process so this is common so this is how an interrupt is useful for interrupting the program in a priority manner for executing a certain part of code in your program.